I'm still searching for that second stream of bubbles from one of these uh, wireless diode electrolysis circuits that I've been working with for some time. I have a single diode in this test tube. You can see the top copper tape wound around the side of the test tube. This hooks back to the L3 on the exciter. The diode inside is a single 1N4148 and on the anode and cathode end I've both I've soldered two round copper dots off of a piece of copper and I cut those dots out with an ordinary paper cutter that's fairly thin copper and then solder them to the to the diode and let me go ahead and put a magnifier on here so you can see this a little closer and we can see the bubbles coming from the anode end of the diode that's the anode plate right there you can see the bar of the cathode end down near the bottom we have that milky substance on top of the sponge covering the uh, copper button that it's soldered to and that appears to be uh, after looking at it a few times uh, the tin that actually oxidizes off of the lead and it just lays down there in a little cloud the anode end uh, doesn't do that the copper doesn't take and stream out or fall down towards the bottom so it's fairly stable in the environment but you can see we have good involvement good bubble liberation from the plate and from the lead, the anode end of the diode. But if we take a look here real close, you don't see anything coming up from the cathode end. So I'm still looking for that missing stream of bubbles. Uh, I quite <laughs> can't quite understand how we could get it be obtaining both hydrogen and oxygen off of off of one lead here. Of course the pundits have tried to explain that but uh, it doesn't ring true with me. But anyway we're still working on it. Uh, it's progressing quite nicely. I have one system here which has a hundred diodes on it and when it's uh, properly tuned to the exciter it's quite productive. But anyway I uh, thought I'd put another video up here to show that the work is still going on we can still do electrolysis with one diode and we're getting gas from only one end of the diode as usual